well, you're looking for the signature of life. Because, um, you, you know, there's not going to be somebody standing up going, hi, welcome <laughs> to Mars. So you're looking for things like carbon dioxide that we breathe out, or if it's an anaerobic system, one without oxygen, you might get you know, sulfur dioxide or sulfur based compounds. There are a number of different things that you could be looking for and you have to hone in on what's there and then uh, refine it. So it, it, it's an iterative process like most sciences. <laughs>、well, And, uh, and so we need to understand all these、uh, mechanisms, the impacts that we have on our body, and we need to make sure that we have the capability of preserving the, the body, the functionality of the body over this long period of time, which is two to three years. We're looking at ways to provide astronauts with autonomy. If I call the ground from the International Space Station, I get an immediate response. But if I'm traveling and I'm near the Martian surface, It's going to take a long time to get that response. So, astronauts and the ground team that support them are going to need to figure out how to deal with those t y p e of psychological issues. Say there's two big challenges. One is the transportation to get there, and then the second has to do with health. When you look at transportation, now we're going 30 million to 250 million miles away, depending on how the planets are aligned.、Uh -huh. It's a long time to get there, it's a big distance, so we need a vehicle that can get us there. When you talk about health,、uh, How are we going to react being in space for that long with the、uh, radiation problem? And then we have food, water, all those things that we take for granted here. Well, we astronauts、uh, in space、uh, are guinea pigs、uh, in a certain way. And one of the ways that we help in planning、uh, the Mars mission is. is Allowing the scientists to look at our body and see what happens when you stay in microgravity for a long time. Right now, we have Scott Kelly up there for an entire year because we need to push beyond six months if we're going to send someone to Mars. And then, what's going on with our machinery? How's the reliability? How's our environmental control system? Is it keeping us alive? Is it breaking down? Do we need to supply spare parts?、Um, now, we're even looking at 3D printing, which I think is going to have a great application to go to Mars. And so, all of it together, it's everything together. It's the human living, it's the scientific research, it's the machinery and the reliability. Whether it be recycling their urine into drinking water, or finding ways to break down water into hydrogen to give them an oxygen to give them breathing material.、Um, And how to, to、uh, grow plants in space so that perhaps they can eat their salads that they grow in the spaceship. So it's really important for people to be focusing on the future with recycling capability and ways to eliminate the need to carry big, massive things into space.